Hey everybody, this month's bedtime book review is Good Night Sleep Tight, a book that you probably have never heard of, and so this is your opportunity to get to hear this adorable little book. This has a story behind it. This is one of my favorite bedtime books when I was a baby. Um, I called it Tight Tight, and this currently is available if you look for it online for about like $180 and up. Um, because it's obviously it's no longer in print. I don't see it does. It has an author. It's by Emily George, illustrated by <laughs> Marja St. John. And um, it's branded, it's like the Fisher Price Little People brand um, of books. So it's like it's, the characters in here are supposed to be those little those little people. Um, we have like a Noah's Ark set that um, Noah has the same shaped head, you know. Um, and so it's like it's a branded thing. It's not, um, I don't know, it's not like a book publisher so much as it's like a toy publisher, right? Division of the Quaker Oats Company. Who knew? Anyway, this little story was my favorite bedtime book when I was super little. Um, and I had completely forgotten about it in the intervening years until my dad was watching some of these videos. And it reminded him of the the way that this story like rhymed in the meter and stuff, um, it reminded him of how much I used to love it, and so he, he brought it up for me to read again. Another thing that I remember the most about it um, is the art style and the fact that there's like this foiling on like, every page in here, gold and silver foil. Um, but it's, I don't know if I'll be able to show you on the camera here exactly what it looks like. Um, it's like, slightly shiny but a little bit kind of matte um, but I remember really enjoying looking at that when I was really little um, but I'm gonna read this to you today and give you just some thoughts about it so here we go good night sleep tight by Emily George illustrated by Marja St. John I like to play with cars and trucks toot toot the light is red I'm busy driving every place I don't have time for bed. But then there comes a moment when I hear my mother say, please park your truck upon the shelf and put your blocks away. Next I take off everything and hop into the ah! sun. I swim and kick and float my boat and give myself a scrub. I'm dressed in clean pajamas with slippers on my feet. I'm ready for a glass of milk and ginger snaps to eat. It's time to squeeze the toothpaste so I can brush my teeth around, around the front of them, behind and underneath. It's time to have a story mom or dad will read to me. We snuggle up together so both of us can see. It's a very special feeling just to cuddle two by two. If we could read forever, wouldn't that be nice to do? But stories all have endings, so now I'm tucked in bed. I wonder if you're just like me, a little sleepyhead. A kiss, a hug, sweet dreams, sleep tight. It's time for us to say good night. And it's just a sweet little story. Um, highlights for me, like I said, besides the foiling and the art style, um, I always liked the boat for some reason. The float my boat just kind of, it's, I like the, I don't know, alliteration there. I always remember these ginger snaps, and I had no idea what ginger snaps were when I was little. But now that I'm going back and reading through this, um, the thing <laughs> that keeps sticking out to me is like the order of what's going on here. Like, why is he eating cookies right before bed? Um, is that like a thing? Uh, is it the ginger? Is that supposed to be good for his stomach to settle it after his tub? I don't know, maybe he's not supposed to eat before the bath the same way you're not supposed to sleep, I mean, to eat before swimming, I don't know. But um, it's, you know, just, I, I it probably doesn't matter. I worry that it would, uh, poison my daughter's mind as to our bedtime routine, but of course, obviously, that's silly. It's just a cute little story, and um, I wanted to share it with you because 
Like I said, you're not going to be able to find this in stores. It's out of print and it is exorbitant. I would not pay $200 for this, especially since most of the copies you'll find have probably been super well loved like this with the binding kind of coming off. But it's a pretty good, decent shape. Um, a nice short little book and that is Tight Tight by Emily George. Thank you for joining me for bedtime today and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, Leave your comments below. What are your like unconventional favorite bedtime stories that like no one else has ever heard of? Like we all know Good Night Moon, but like what books did you like that you can't find anywhere else anymore? Leave those below. Um, I definitely want to see those. All right, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <gasps> Baby.